Look at the skyline of Cincinnati, Ohio. Technically, this tournament being played in Mason, Ohio, but it is just outside Cincinnati proper. And it is another gorgeous sun splash day. Going to be a little bit warmer today. Temperatures getting into the mid 80s before it'll cool off tomorrow, according to forecasters. But uh, again, light winds, not overly hot. And a perfect day, I think, at the Lindner Family Tennis Center for a little bit of pickleball. No doubt about it. And uh, the, the elements played a role in yesterday. That grinding match that Frank Anthony Davis played against Tyson McGuffin that took everything out. It's all mixed doubles. And this is the final quarterfinal of the mixed doubles. As three of the four semifinal teams have already punched their ticket. And we will take you through the semifinals today. The championship will, of course, be on Championship Sunday. Yeah, and uh, that picture we just had up of uh, Ben Johns was taken from the cover of Tennis Magazine here on Tennis Channel when uh, Ben Johns was on the cover. That, uh, that's where that picture came from. So we love to see all the racket and paddle sports coming together like we are here today. And this is going to be quite a treat to see these two. You know Ben Johns is fired up today, did not have nearly the result he expected yesterday, losing in the quarterfinals to a impressive effort by Tyler Loon. He's going to want to stamp his mark here today. I, I think, you know, if anybody was handicapping the remainder of this tournament, if you were, uh, you wanted to, you know, see what the odds were for a Ben Johns team to take gold in these two, I think it would be, you, you, that, that's going to be the prohibitive favorite. When he's got a chip on his shoulder, like he certainly does, it's not good. You don't want to be on the other side of that. No, two people are happy about that. Anna Lee Waters today and Colin Johns' brother as men's partner tomorrow. Right. They were like, oh, you lost in singles? I'm so sorry. <laughs> So here we go, Waters and Johns will begin. Now we talked about, if you were with us for game two of the uh, match you just saw, we talked about how, how the serve works, that each, each player on a team gets an opportunity to serve before the side out. That is not true to start the game. The team that gets the first serve, they only get one and then it goes to the side out. So they technically start the game in doubles of a, at a score of 0-0-2. Zero, zero, and right now 1-0-2 since Waters and John's got that first point. It's the only little idiosyncrasy about uh, how the service works in doubles. Yeah, just to play that a little farther, Dave, it's a little too big of an advantage to start if you were to get two serves. So then you got to decide, do you want to choose to serve or receive if you win the toss? Because if you get a quick stop, you get two before they get two. Exactly. So, interesting little strategy before we even hit a ball. <laughs> uh, how about that? Smith just kind of tied up. Wasn't sure he, what he wanted to do, and then the ball just made a decision for him. Yeah, kissed off the tape when he went for the Ernie there, and he was uh, in trouble, and you heard a little squeal out of him. But uh, he uh, was able to avoid contact with the ball. Second serve. There's that big forehand. He's got to make a huge percentage of that for them to stay two, two, in this two. match. The Ernie there, backhanded style by Ben Johns. And these two are already smiling. That is also bad news for the opponent. So uh, he's inspired. He's got a chip on his shoulder the size of an elephant. And he's feeling good. And he's smiling. I did not see it clearly. Was it in? Oh, okay. Put it in. Point. Tarashenko uh, inquiring on to whether that ball was in. Ben still smiling. 2-0-1 as the serve goes over to Waters and Johns. Oh, nice job by Smith going up and getting that. And there you see the tennis prowess of Smith. That's a tough ball back over your head. Great footwork. You know, you always see the swing, but it's the footwork to get you into the position to do that. And Smith was brilliant on that one. That return by Tereschenko long, so that makes it 4 0 2. Yep. Yep. Uh, 
Nice backhand by Smith and Ben Johns. I mean, I know that was coming at him quick. That's one he usually handles, though. Yeah, the key for that was, as you saw, Ben had to bring his paddle down. So you want to go down with the ball in these fights at the kitchen line, and uh, Smith did a nice job there. And that's just filthy. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, catching the line exactly with no line to spare. I mean, to take a ball that low and flick it in between two talented players. A little dink action here between Johns and Smith. And then Ben trying to go to the power backhand into the net. Tereschenko and Smith finally get on the board. Yeah, just leading a little middle there. Nice shot by Tereschenko to find that uh, backhand side and get the mistake. You will hear multiple languages from Mr. Smith today as well. He'll be pulling out everything he's got. You know, I do got to give credit where credit is due. Frank Anthony Davis yesterday, so vocal. I don't think any of it was going to get anybody in trouble with the FCC. No, very clean. Yeah. And uh, unclean, though, were his feet right there as uh, Pat Smith went for the Ernie, foot on the line. He even called himself. He looked down. I mean, that's not a small foot, and it was clearly on the line, called quickly by the referees, but he called it on himself. One of the best sportsmen on the tour, for sure. 5-1-2. Well, Johns has hit an inordinate amount of shots into the top of the tape. And what's scary is you're right, and it's 5-1 Waters and Johns. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, once he gets those to clear a little bit, it's going to be even more of a problem for Tereschenko and Smith. Second point for Tereschenko and Smith. It's uh, all Wichita morning so far here for us, Dave. It's Pat Smith, also from Wichita. Yeah, Wichita is a, a little bit of a pickleball hotbed. You got chicken pickle out there. Chicken and pickle. You got Kovalova. You got Matt Wright and Mr. Smith here. So uh, no doubt where that city is cheering today. Side out. Into the net will result in the side out. Have you ever actually been to chicken and pickle? Oh, I have. It's so fun. I've heard great things. I just have not got to go, Dave. Made yes. a trip to Wichita yet? Yeah, Fire, they're three, springing one. up everywhere. They're in Texas, several different uh, Kansas locations, Missouri. Johns gets up to the kitchen line. And to the tape again Second, for Ben Johns. So living very dangerously are Tereschenko and Smith, but they'll take it. Yeah, I don't know if I would call all of the ones he's put into the tape unforced errors because no. they've been they've been hard shots, but for him, they're shots he normally hits and he gets tied up there. Yeah, Pat Smith, uh, very good hands, especially that forehand in the middle, and you'll see that one right there just had so much pop. Love the two box from the net cam to see how quickly you have to react. In fact, the viewer probably can't even keep keep it up, and yet these players have to make contact with that ball, with their paddle coming from less than 14 feet away. Nice extension by Tereschenko to get that one. And Ali finally gets up to the kitchen line, and then Smith tried to get Creative goes behind the back was really the only shot he could have had and obviously couldn't pull it off. Yeah, we saw Alcaraz at the U.S. Open pull that off the other day, and we saw Frank Anthony Davis on this very court make that shot yesterday. It is all the rage day. Hey, necessity is the mother of all invention. Point six, makes it 6-2-1. Second serve. Move it to 6 2 2. 6 2 2. Point. Make it 7 2 2. 
Annalie Waters, unlike Ben Johns, has had a very good day on the court yesterday in singles play. And she'll be playing for the championship on Sunday. 8-2-2 now after Smith couldn't get that backhanded dink up over the net. And what has made this team even more successful has been their ability. You have two alphas, but Anna Lee Waters and Ben have figured out when can Anna Lee push the pace? When can Ben do it? So a dangerous team looking very good. So. We're taking a timeout, 8-2 in favor of Waters and Johns. And welcome back to Cincinnati, Ohio. The Baird Wealth Management Open. Mixed quarter final between Annalie Waters and Ben Johns, taking on Irina Tereschenko and Patrick Smith. Yeah, and the winners will get another Smith. Uh, Callie Smith and AJ Cole are sitting there waiting. That is a dynamic team, have had very good results this year, have pushed Waters and Johns almost beat them in their inaugural match together. Everybody's like, what is happening? And they were able to pull that out. That was at our first stop in Arizona in January. But Smith and Cole are looking good today and uh, await the winner here. And we are just about waiting to resume some play here yeah, in see Cincinnati. Referee Joey Jones there in the middle of the court, commanding authority. Now he's ready to get us rolling. Right in. Two, eight, one. So two, eight, one. Tereschenko and Smith with their backs against the wall here in game one. And able to take advantage of the little break and gather themselves. They could quickly get a point. Johns and Smith, Sarashenko gets into it now. And that does go over the defensive shot, but it set it up for Tereschenko to flick it right into Waters. Yeah, beautiful flick to start that at Ben Johns. And it's that one that caught him. And if your opponent is favoring the forehand side, find that left shoulder. Tereschenko did it perfectly. Johns finally puts that away. Serve will stay here, though. It'll just move to the second server. So 4-8-2. 4 8 2, four, eight, two. Oh. Make it 5 8 2. A little bit of a rally coming here. And that's but what that big Pat Smith forehand can do. Drive, five, eight, call two. it the shake and bake, drive it, and then let Tereschenko come and take advantage of a softer ball. And again, there's the sportsmanship of Pat Smith. That thing just grazed off his paddle, immediately called it on himself. Eight, five, one. Yep. Nice shot down the middle there by That's Pat good. Smith, who's originally from Munich, Germany, his teammate Irina Tereschenko, originally from Moscow, Russia, both played tennis collegiately here in the United States and have been here domestically for a long, long time. But I guess technically you've got an inter inter international comp an inter international team going against the domestic team. No doubt about it. The international team wish that ball hadn't grazed off the U.S. net there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Smith would like to have that one back. Anna Lee stares down the Winter Soldier and gets them positioned for a game point here. Ten, five, two.
Johns puts away game one. Not much Pat Smith could do with that. And Johnson Waters, they take it 11 5 in game one. Game two coming your way after this quick timeout. Well, we mentioned Lee Waters. She was hoping to actually be playing, but uh, that's her up on top of the stands talking to Anna Lee Waters and Ben Johns. And, well, let's just say Lee should be well rested for the women's doubles. No doubt. Uh, Anna Lee is the beneficiary again of that. She got. The highly motivated Ben Johns and the well rested mother. I mean, she's looking at Game can she two, go back to back triple zero, crowns? Zero, a lot of work two. to get to that stage, but uh, here we go. Tereschenko and Smith start game two with the serve, so 0 0 2. And they quickly will give it up the side, side out. out. Waters and Johns will take over. 0 0 1. And Smith frustrated, unable to get it over the net, an early point. So yep. An Annalie Waters just 15 years old and the number one women's player in the world by a wide margin. John showing off the backhand, showed off the the finesse, and he showed off the power. Yeah, just uh, it's that ball right there. Because most people here in pickleball, you can't attack a ball off your ankles. Well, you can if you have the tricks and all the arrows in his quiver, and then he sets up a beautiful finish from there. Is this the point where we're obligated to mention sick tricks? You can't with Arena Tereschenko bringing it right there. The Irina Tereschenko brand sick tricks. Irina is such a great ambassador for the sport. And over the years, we've had plenty of chances to get to know her. Yes. She sat on, sat in the booth on some broadcasts and uh, just such a pleasant person to be around. Three, zero, two. Good look at her right there. The thing we're seeing here with these uh, Great singles players, Johns and Waters, as they're cracking their serve. Wow. I think I, I thought that was going to go deep. Irina thought it was going to go deep. It caught the line. And there was nothing she could do with it. And we had a chance for a sick trick tweener there, yeah. but uh, she didn't plan on it because she thought it was out. <laughs> Another heavy serve from Ben John. So when you take that singles to the next day and you've been cracking your serve because it's so important at singles, it has a lot of benefits. I mean, he is going for it. 5-0-2. That was great teamwork because Ben was ready to hammer that thing and Annalise said no, and Ben wisely pulled off of it. Crowd loved having Annalise <laughs> telling Ben what to do there. Wait, a, a female telling a male what to do? It never happens. Never happens. Timeout being taken 6 nothing in favor of Waters and Johns. 6 nothing. Waters and Johns on top still controlling the serve as Tereschenko and Smith. Uh, we talked about, you know what, maybe it wouldn't be a big deal that they hadn't played that first game, but I don't know, maybe it, it, it certainly, I'm not going to blame that no. because they're, they're taking on an unstoppable force, but uh, they've had a tough time finding any kind of momentum. And there again, a big serve sets it up, and these two are on fire. Beautiful third shot sets up a winner on the fifth. Seven, yeah, sometimes zero, you do just want to get out and have played a match, especially when you run into this, but it's just the quality of this is, is, is the obvious major difference here. Look at the defense. I mean, that was all Ben Johns. There's not, not much you can do when he's dialed in like that. I mean, my boy's walking a tightrope there along the uh, kitchen line, and that's just beautiful pickleball. And if ben, de de ben decides not to take it, you've only got the number one ranked player in the on the women's side waiting for it. 
Oh, and she wanted to join the party there and took a hefty swing. Yes, she did. But instead, it will be a side out, and Tereshenko and Smith trying to at least get a point on the board here, trying to get rid of the bagel. That does stay in. Twainer. There's a sick trick and a better return by <laughs> Miss Sick Tricks. Zero communication from Waters and Johns on this ball. Neither one went for it. And we all benefited from the fact that it, they didn't communicate because Ben had to pull something out of the hat. And then Johns forces it to the second server. You know, in a lot of this match, you've seen just the, the beauty of Anna Lee Waters' defense. Sets up the point, gets them into it, and then Johns has been taking over. Great job catching up to that one by Anna Lee. Finally, the point won by Tereshenko and Smith. Smart play by Tereshenko there. When you have a opponent run into the kitchen and have to get that ball off the tape, you then want to throw the ball back at them because they have to get both feet out of the kitchen to hit a ball out of the air. So that set up the whole point for them. Smart play by Arena. And now three straight points for Tereshenko and Smith. Three, eight, two. Patrick Smith. We got a chest bump. We had a Tereshenko 360 in the middle of that, fending off at John's attack. Brilliant Four, by eight, these two. two. Well placed return. That'll move it to the second server, but that was a, uh, actually, that's the side out. Another great first volley by Anna Lee Waters off that heavy Pat Smith forehand. We'll move second to second serve. server. Well, Tereshenko and Smith, if they can break serve one more time and get it, get this serve Eight, back. Four, I mean, two. you gotta, you gotta fight and chance here in game two. Easier said than done right now, though. Got both Waters and John's back. Now they're able to get up to the kitchen line. Again into the net though for Ben Johns. Yeah, a little ambitious on that after some brilliant resets Four, by eight, Annalie one. Waters to get them back even. Mm. John's footing was, footwork was, was not ideal for that. He was a little bit out of position reaching for it to try to get it. Five, yeah, the, eight, the net plays a bad role in your footwork sometime. That one just kiss off the tape, and then you got to reset and shuffle quickly. Yeah. How about this surge by Tereshenko and Smith? Back to within two. Six in a row. Six in a row, and that's enough to cause a timeout being taken by Waters and Johns. And what's interesting in the timeout dynamic of this team is the Johns don't call timeouts a lot, but the Waters do. So, Anna Lee, put the paddle down. We're going to slow this roll because Tereshenko and Smith look fantastic right now. They're setting each other up, playing complimentary pickleball, getting that big Pat Smith forehand in the middle. I like it. I don't think Ben Johns really knows that timeouts exist because the only time you see timeouts taken uh, when Ben Johns is on the court is by his teammate. Yeah, he uh, 
unless it's just a grueling point, but he's still in, in, in fine physical condition. But certainly Colin and Annalee are calling timeouts. Oh, Co they... Colin calls them all the time. Yes, Annalee sure. will call them, no question. And you can see he didn't even leave the court. Yeah. He just took a few steps back into the shade and said, uh, let's go. Tarashenko and Smith. They're very entertaining players, so it's not surprising the crowd is into this. Obviously, they'd love to see a third game and a huge comeback. So uh, let's see if they can keep it rolling. Time in. Six, eight, one. Johnson Smith going back and forth. And John's finally able to put that away. Not much Tereschenko could do with it. Yeah, Tereschenko's shot selection before that was the problem. And Anna Lee Waters set off a beautiful train of swings that got them on the second server here. Smith and John showing some patience. Tereschenko set that one up right where it was perfectly placed for Johns. Yeah, that's a great read by, by Ben there. You pull your opponent hey, out wide, and then it's so hard to put a safe dink back in the middle of the court because you don't have much room. Left it up just a bit. Great backhand by Anna Lee. And that makes it 9-6. 9-6, one. Second Make it 962. 962. Well, okay. I'll tell you what, if this goes to a third game, it's going to be because Ben Johns has not been able to execute Six, most of the nine, shots one. that we're used to seeing him execute. A couple of loose thirds there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Second third. And they've tried to speed it up at Anna Lee Waters, and she is up to the task. And not only that, but she turns her defense into offense quickly. Side out. That was not what Tereschenko and Smith were hoping for on that service opportunity, is they give it right back to Waters and Johns. Yeah, it lasted about 18 seconds total. And now we're looking at match point. And after two loose thirds, he hits a beautiful third on a return that skidded off the Ten, line. Six, one. That'll do it. Tereschenko and Smith, they at least found a little bit of momentum to make it interesting in game two. But in the end, it's Waters and Johns winning it. In straight games, 11-5, 11-6, they will move on to the semifinals where they have a date with Irvine and De Villiers. So let's take a look at your updated draw. Kovalova and Wright, excuse me, it's Kovalova and Wright taking out Irvine and De Villiers. It's Smith and Kohler waiting for Waters and Johns. Yeah, obviously the chalk got to the semis. You see the top four seeds there. Jesse Irvin, we haven't seen on center yet. We will do so. She is going to be excited to play with the Flying Frenchman. These are two great semifinals. I look forward to seeing who can punch their ticket to Sunday. We're going to see another Johns on the other side of this timeout. Hannah Johns will talk to her brother as well as Anna Lee Waters. Don't go anywhere. Our coverage on Tennis Channel continues in a moment.